Hey everybody, uh, I'd like to show you this seemingly random assortment of wires and stuff that's on my table right now. Um, this is the sparker for the poover. Um, in a totally not super, nothing's actually soldered together right now. Um, currently what I have it doing is, here's the 12 volt power supply. 12 volt comes up, um, goes through these wires here. Um, that one with all the clips there is the ground. Um, it comes around to here. The ground splits off into two. One ground goes to up near the smart spark plug. One ground goes to in this side. Um, then that is the plus 12 ground and plus 5 that's going to be coming from the Teensy. Um, right now, since it's just testing, I didn't want to hook up the Teensy to it, obviously, because I didn't want to blow that out. So I wanted to use some more powerful or more, uh, let's just say, just in case I was wrong with my assessment of the plus, plus five ability of this, of this stuff, I wanted to make sure it didn't blow out our microcontroller, so that's what I did. Um, and so we got those three coming into there, right, straight from the Teensy, no conversion. Um, currently I have this guy hooked up, who, are, who is our um, uh, 12 volt to five volt uh, buck converter, right? And because I don't have any buttons, I can't make a switch. Now how this how this spark on plug guy works is it expects basically a signal from this yellow wire, right, that will be at a certain frequency. It'll be pulsing at a certain frequency, which will cause the um, spark plug to spark every time that that pin goes high. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch this this exposed wire to that exposed wire to make a pulse on that pin like you can't you can't just connect them because it will it won't turn it on it needs a pulse so if I focus over here and I touch this you should see a spark plug now when we're doing our sparking we're gonna want to vibrate this like a lot It's hard to do, but you can kind of see what I'm getting at. So this is nice because it avoids the whole problem of a FET or a um, or any sort of uh, uh, extra stuff here. And this Xeno spark, Xenon spark, or I'm sorry, Iridium spark plug will be good pretty much for the foreseeable life of our project. Um, and it should have pretty good ignition and everything. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you that. Um, cool. Alright, bye-bye.